Lewis here. I am on travel and this is my hotel room. And I wanted to do a video for you. Tonight, I'm going to assemble a newspaper journal. So just using a newspaper and some papers that I have and some things to decorate, just what I have. But I will tell you, I did pick up a few things at the store that I found were not in my bag and I needed it, right? So I'm gonna share what I got from Walmart that's just down the road from me. And we're gonna make a newspaper junk journal. Yes, we are. Newspaper, just regular newspaper. It's gonna be fun and we'll see how that turns out. So I hope you'll join me uh, tonight for this video and uh, let's see what I picked up at Walmart that I couldn't live without. All right, so I thought I could get along without a paper trimmer. I didn't have one small one that would really fit in my bag too well. And uh, so, at least not one that was sharp in any way. So I did spring for a paper trimmer. This is the Cricut paper trimmer. It was the least expensive of the ones that were there. Uh, you can use it for scoring if you need to. Um, so, you know, wasn't too bad. It was like 13 something. Then for my paper bag journal, I really didn't bring any like regular paper. So I looked around to see what I could find that was really kind of the cheapest. It didn't have lines on it and I didn't want cardstock. So I picked up this sketch pad. It's just a tablet, um, just white papers. They really will need vintageized, but we'll see how that goes. There's really a lot here, it's a hundred sheets. Um, just white paper. So it was like three bucks, not too bad. All right, then I did pick up a few things for accents and guess what else I didn't bring, which I didn't think I would need, but you know, it happens. You just gotta do it. So I picked up some embroidery thread. They did not have wax thread, which is my preference for a journal, but I did pick up embroidery thread and this is it. It's an off-white probably like Ecru or something. I don't know if it even has a name on it. Yeah, it is Ecru. Look at that. Ha. Huh. Anyway, guess I know my embroidery thread. I didn't bring my all. So I picked up one. It's going to be in my go bag. I'm just not going to take it out, folks. I'm just not going to take it out. I did pick up some cute bows that they had already. That way I don't have to buy more ribbon, but cute bows nonetheless. And you get... How many do you get in here? I'm not sure. I'm trying to see if it tells me a number. Well, let me see. I guess I just need to wear my glasses. So you get 40. Pretty cute. So we'll use those. And then I didn't have needles and I need these deco needles. These are the large kind. They don't, they don't have to be super pointy, but they will go through paper. So I did get that. So you can see that I did not pack very well, but now I have these specifically for my crafting go bag. All right, so what we need to do for a paper, newspaper junk journal is you need newspaper. So I'm gonna switch the, the, the view around and we're gonna put this together and do some decorating on it and see how it turns out. All right, well, I have the local newspaper here that's free at the hotel. And it's really neat um, to be able to use this paper, newspaper. And you just have to decide. I think I just want it to be this size and fold it over so it can be like a regular journal size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna use all of these sheets. I'm gonna only use um, this half right here. So I'm gonna cut this and then we're gonna fold it over and then we're gonna make it into a journal. Okay, so I've got my little new trimmer here. It just opens up like this. I'm gonna slide this paper into here and scoot it to the top right here 
And we're just gonna cut through all of these. And that was really, ooh, that was really easy. Earthquake, oh, sorry about that. Okay, so we've got our paper already ready. Now, all we have to do is decide which is gonna be the front, which is gonna be the back. And I think what I'm gonna do, normally I would just take, say, one sheet, and we're gonna fold it up so that it has a pocket, okay? Now, restructuring, you're seeing the, the creative process here. So I've taken them apart, gonna refold them. And what I've got here is two sheets with the fold here, because these are gonna be natural pockets. And then I'm gonna fold this one inside. So we're turning these upside down, right? All right, so then here we go. I'm gonna fold this like this. And then our papers will have pages. Now, what I want to do is add in some of these pages that are from this paper pad because I do want it to have some plain pages in it. So we're just gonna take four sheets. I'm gonna take four sheets from this pad. And then we're gonna measure and see what size this is here to here. And since I just have this little ruler, we're gonna hope it fits and it does. So it's a, a little less than six inches. I hope you're enjoying this. <laughs> anyway, and then this is six to here, seven and three quarters. So this is about five and three quarters by seven and three quarters, which is a good size. So what I need to do with these is I need to measure um, about double the width. So five and three quarters and five and three quarters. So if this is 11, we just may fold it in half. And then we want to make sure it's less than seven and three quarters. So we're gonna trim it to where the uh, page is no more than seven and three quarters. So let's pull out this arm here. We're gonna measure this to about seven and a half. That looks good. Okay. Save my scrap. And let's see what size this is. So this is, oh, this is about 12. So we don't want it that big. So we want to be at 11. Let's do five and a half. So, so we measured 11 so that when I fold it, it's five and a half. And we measured at seven and a half. So what we're going to do is test this out. We're going to fold these pages in half like this and see how they fit inside the journal. And I think it's gonna work just fine. So we're gonna take these plain white pages. Now this sketch paper is a little bit thicker, it feels, than just regular copy paper, but I could be wrong, not sure of the weight. But I didn't want cardstock. So we're gonna take our four pages and we're gonna put them in between the paper, uh, newspaper pages like that. All right, this is what we're working with. This is the newspaper. I took four pages of the newspaper, folded them up so there'll be some natural pockets. And then in between each one, I've added some white paper that will decorate. And so this is what the beginnings of my journal looks like. Now you could add anything you have if you have, um, you know, your decorative paper, your scrapbook paper, if you have vintage pages, just like these, you mean you could add those. I'm gonna use those for decor decorating rather than as the actual page. Now, I do not have my paper clips and I do not have my graph paper. So, oh, I do have graph paper, look at this. I have this paper. So what I'm gonna do, look at that. 
I'm telling you what. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cut a piece of this off to use to make my holes here. So we're gonna do this like a regular journal. I've got it folded in half. I've got my pages in there, and just like you would sew a signature in. So what I do is I measure my graph paper to see the to the height of the page. Then I fold it in half. Okay. Then I fold it in half long wise, long ways, long wise, long wise, long ways. All right, so then I know where my middle is. So I'm gonna take this little pen here that I just happen to have handy in the hotel room, and I'm just gonna make a little dot right there in the middle. So I know that's the middle. Now, where do I want my first stitches to come in? And I'm thinking, you know, about an inch in, maybe an inch and a half. And these are quarter of an inch, and this is about an inch and a half. So if I fold this, down to this dark blue line here. That's gonna be my inch and a half. And let's see how far down that is. That might be too far. Let's do it about an inch. So that's gonna be four of these squares. There, I think that's gonna be good. So here's my middle, here's my inch down. So then I know here I wanna go down about an inch as well. So we're gonna just do that. It's not quite exactly perfect, but it will be good. So then I'm gonna mark that inch right there. So that's where my holes need to be to sew in this journal. We're just gonna do a simple journal pamphlet stitch, and we're just gonna slide this in the middle, make sure it's in the middle, and we're gonna just hold it really tight because normally I would have you put paper clips but as I told you, I don't have my paper clips with me. So I'm just gonna hold it real tight and take my awl and punch that through that middle. And I wanna make sure it goes through the middle of my pages. So I'm gonna be really careful to do that. And I'm using my uh, self-healing mat that I do have with me. So I'm gonna hold on to that and I'm gonna Make sure this is in the middle again. See, it slipped a little, so I need to scoot it over. Make sure it's in the middle. I wanna to try to close that, so make sure I'm getting the middle of my spine there. Oops. I really advise clips. All right, but we're gonna make it work because we're in a hotel room doing crafts, <laughs> right? Okay, and then we're gonna do this, this one here. Okay, and then I've got my holes in the back. They're not really big, but they're there. So now I can see my holes and I can come back again, line them up, make them a little bit bigger if I need to. Of course, paper is forgiving in a way. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do this one again. All right, so now we're ready to sew in these pages into uh, the spine of this. Now I am usually like to use waxed thread, but we have this embroidery thread. So we do the same measurement. So I take it about four times, usually three, but I'm gonna go four this time, just to make sure I have enough. I am not taking any of the threads apart. I do want it to be thicker, okay? Then I take my decorative needle and I'm gonna put it through this big old eye. Next thing that I do like to do normally is use some washi to hold my thread down. And I don't have any washi today. <laughs> I don't think, let me look in my bag. All right, so we're gonna make do with a little self stick tape and see if that will help hold that um, tail. And then we'll cover it with something. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and place that. Normally I don't, but we'll just do it this way today. All right, so here we are. Now what we need to do is go down through the middle. That's what we do first. And pull that thread. Now I'm gonna be really careful because I don't wanna pull that that right there, okay? 
and then we'll cover that up. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna come back through the top like this, right? And I do wanna pull it taut, a little bit tight, but not too tight to pull that. And then I'm gonna come down through the bottom hole coming through right here. All right, then we're gonna come back up through this middle hole. We're gonna work that in and we're gonna come on the other side of this thread because we wanna tie it off and secure it, All right? So I've got enough, I'm gonna go ahead and snip that and move that needle out of the way, All right? Now I'm gonna undo this little piece here, pull it tight, or wrap it around that thread, and then we're gonna tighten it. I'm gonna do it like three times just to make sure it stays. The embroidery thread works great, and for junk journals, you just leave that hanging, right? All right, so now my spine is all sewn together, and I have the beginnings of my newspaper junk journal. Now, what you can do is you can cover this, you can leave it, you can do whatever you want to. And I have some fun papers here that I'm gonna use that I did bring with me. We're just gonna do a little decorating. We're gonna just have a good old time. So I hope you'll stick around and watch and get some inspiration. I do love to vintageize everything and I use like a brown ink rather than black. This is a dye ink from Ranger. This is just a makeshift and blending tool. And I'm actually gonna go around this newspaper. We're gonna make this newspaper look like it's been around for a while. So I'm just gonna go around these edges here and I'm probably gonna do that on the back as well. And I'm not doing a heavy hand, just a light. Just going around there, all right. Then what I wanna do also is, I like the newspaper look, but I also want it to be pretty decorated rather than just um, newspaper. So we'll add to that. I did bring some papers with me. This is pretty, and that would look pretty on there, wouldn't it? So we're just gonna take that, give the brown a little around the edges again, and we're just gonna glue that on that simple. Now one thing that you can do before you glue that on is you can go ahead and put um, a fastener on there like some lace or something like that. I'm not going to do that on this one just because it's all paper so I'll probably use just a wrap around fastener for this. All right so we're just going to glue this on and I've just got some of my alcohol based glue it's Kalal glue, and I'm just gonna glue this on. Now this will help make it really sturdy and stiff and secured with these papers. So we're just gonna glue this on. Now I can still see my newspaper, but I can decorate this up too. So we're just gonna do that. And then I just want to add a little to this. So I have some real pretty uh, stickers and different things that I could put on here. So I'm gonna look and see what I'd like to put else on the front to decorate that. And I'll be right back. All right, so I have a little like window that I'm gonna put on here. This is three by six. So it's about a half of a six by six sheet. I folded and scored it and folded it at one and a half and then at two, two inches, so one and a half and two. So when it opens, you can see this, you could make it a picture frame as well if you were doing that. So now I'm just gonna glue that on the front and it doesn't really have a closure. I may do something with that whenever I get home, but right now I'm just gonna leave it the way that it is. And I'm just gonna put it on here. Make sure it's pretty even, a little higher than the middle is what I want. All right, so then that'll be the front of my journal like that. That looks good. So then I just go on the inside and I start decorating. 
And that's the fun part, just taking what you have like with you, like I have this one, I'm gonna put that on the inside. If I want to take um, another sheet of the papers that I have with me and decorate in the pocket. So this is a pocket here and I'm just gonna take my, um, my double stick tape here and I'm just gonna make sure that this pocket closes. So I'm just gonna tear a little piece here and because the pocket is already really there, I'm just gonna add that there and pull that up. And now the pocket actually is a pocket, right? And then I can take this piece, put it here if I wanna decorate, or I can leave this for writing. I can stamp onto it. So that would be something also. So I have some stamps here. And these are Dollar Tree stamps. So if you're looking for them, these are stamps that you can get at Dollar Tree. And to be honest, I forgot <laughs> to stamp things. I don't have my stamping block, but you know what? Hey, I just get it on my fingers, I guess. You know, you do what you gotta do. All right, so I'm gonna put some of this brown ink on here. Just be really careful and put it on here. You know, it is what it is. And that turned out pretty good, don't you think? So you can just decorate your pages however you want. I like this, I like this theme. So I'm just gonna take this heart and put it in different places on my papers. So I'm gonna put it up here this time. And I'm just gonna bring this throughout my journal. Now I'm using this brown cocoa ink that I have and just adding it to these pages. So I'm alternating the bottom and the top on the white pages. So they'll all have something that is the same. And, you know, not even using my, my stamping block. So there it is, <laughs> there it is. All right, so I'm gonna go through these pages and just finish this. All right, so I finished that. I did put three on that one. And now I can decorate the pages um, how I want to. So I'm just gonna show you a few things that I will do and then I'll show you what I end up with. And of course, it's a work in progress. So just gonna work on it and um, play a little music and then we'll see how far we get tonight. So I finished um, somewhat the journal. Of course, there's a lot could be done with it. This is the, my newspaper journal while I'm traveling on the road. Um, I am probably gonna do some lace or something on the outside, but I just didn't finish that. This is just a little open here where I put a little rose here. It could hold, hold a picture or something like that. So you can see, I just made my inside. I decorated a little bit. I put some papers in here that could journal on a little pocket here with a bookmark or tag. And then just decorated this page a little bit, junk journal style. I made a pocket here, and this is just another little um, peek in window, I guess, that uh, you could journal in and put pictures in that pocket. Here's another pocket, just the natural pocket with a tag here. I also made like an opening here. You could journal here and then just some decorating, just playing around with some of the papers that I had on hand actually. Made a belly band here and a tag and little paper to journal on. And here's another double pocket actually here with some fun stickers, uh, paper doll stickers and some nostalgic vintage stickers and some fun papers and just decorating it up. 
Again, I have my regular pages that I can still uh, decorate that I sewed into this journal. In the center, I just put this little page. I thought it was really pretty. And then I can decorate here. I just made this an opening or I could put like a picture or something here in this little pull uh, lace here. Then just keep going. I didn't finish really, but I did put a little pocket here kind of angled because it has uh, all the diagonals. So I just put that in here. It's kind of angled uh, sideways. And the, everything doesn't have to be straight up and down, FYI. So then this is another little pocket. I just decorated a little bit and put a little bow there. Another pocket here, a natural pocket. Just I've You've got the theme of these vintage um, paper dolls in here. Put a little lace on there. And here's another pocket, one of those quadruple pockets that we made um, Monday night. Just decorate that up. And then, of course, I have some more to do. I can cover the back or I can leave it natural. I kind of like it natural in a way just because it's my Carlsbad trip and then I can journal about it. So anyway, I'm probably gonna take some lace, make a, a closure or a headband or something that's really pretty and finish up um, the journal. But I wanted to show you how it went from a newspaper to a junk journal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great night.